Right then, so I'm here today to uh, film Andy through the open match on the Ondale Lake. Now, just about to draw. So, what I'm going to do now is we'll. I'm, I don't know, I haven't decided yet whether well, I'm going to put this interview in with the video yeah. or on a separate one. Right, so yeah. So, we'll see. You're a gaffer. But, but he's about to draw, so. Uh, fingers crossed. Well, that's it, fingers crossed. Andy? Thank you, my mate. A pleasure, mate. All Thank right. you very much. Always. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Right then, pal. You've drawn peg 24, is that correct? That's correct, mate. Peg 24 on the Omdale Lake. Fancying it? Got to fancy it, mate. So is a good peg. Is it a good peg all year round? or? It can be a fantastic peg in winter. Um, seems to hold big fish for some reason. There's a nice gravel bar out there on your pads, uh, which makes it good for method and uh, bomb in winter months. And is that what you're starting on? No, on I'll method? start short. What with? I'm going to start on pellets, just to see, you know, feel my way in, see what fish are responding, and then if it does go a bit stupid on me, I've set up a pace rig, because I don't think they're going to be wanting to graft for bait. So I thought, rather than an hard pellet where they've got to digest, suck a ball of paste in, they're not really going to have to battle for it, are they? 200 pound later. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. You've got three nets in? We've got three nets in, we've got one spare. What's fishery limit? I think it's... Is it £60, pound, Will, on your net? £60 pound on your net, mate. That's good. So, uh, yeah, we'll be... I've got a clicker here, so if, while you're doing that, if you'll click for me, brother... Yeah, no problem. Just make sure it's under. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> You've had £5. Pound. <laughs> <laughs> so, any margin line? Yes, mate. We've got a nice margin to, to right, where I can get to the platform, and it's a nice hard bottom. It's gravel. What with that? What depth? Uh, perfect depth, mate, just under 18 inch. Now, you haven't plumbed up anything on left, I've noticed. Waste of time, mate. It's overgrown front bank. I'll be is, that, is that something to do with uh, fishery owners? I'm not saying trimming. nothing about fishery owners, mate, but it hasn't had a good fettle for a good few years. Bring back Mick Langton, I Bring say. Bring back Mick, all's forgiven. Road's brilliant, but maintenance shocking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Paul, how you going on, just, uh, just Just pan around there. Give us a walk, give us a, give us a wave, Paul. <laughs> and we've got young Will down there. He hadn't had his hair cut today either, so... Play, playboy for Farm Park. <laughs> is, Mick, is Mick Langton your dad? Ooh. So, yeah, I'm excited for it, mate. I've not been for a good few months. Uh, it's just one of them fisheries where you could just... I mean, look at it, see, you know... It's beautiful, pal. We've seen plenty of fish knocking about, haven't we? Haven't yeah, we? there's a few mooching. There's a few blowing, which is a good sign. So we've got method, short line, a right line to margin. Have you got any other lines? No, I've got. I've got a. I'm going to slap a pellet long. What uh, shallow? Uh, yeah, 14 and a half, just in case things go iffy and they need to cool down a bit. Because sometimes, yeah, once you've caught a few fish, it just erupts on you. So That's because it's still like Yeah, it, you yeah. just have to forget about it, go somewhere else, fish in a line, and then come back to it later on. And weight-wise, what do you reckon is going to win today? Uh, I would think you'll need 150. Uh, is, to... there any... Can you... is this peg capable of 150? Oh, 100%, mate. Is anybody else? I know Every Will's peg. on an M-peg. Every can... peg. Every peg. Every peg is capable of 150 easy. Brilliant. Yeah, it's one of them fisheries. It's frustrating, but if you get it right, it's very rewarding. Because if you sort your feeding out and you don't get foul lookers, see a lot of people, they just overfeed it and just end up foul looking for off at match and then they come back to the come back from the peg and say, oh, well, I've had, I've had 180 pound on hook. Well, you didn't weigh 180 pound, you foul looked them. So you don't deserve to win now. No. We're looking for clean bites, not overfeeding, and every time we get a fish, it wants to be at mouth. Brilliant. We're about a minute away before match starts, so All right, then, Greg. Uh, I'll sit here and be quiet. Thank you very much. Make it be a change, that. <laughs> there we oh, go. Oh, he's, he's called early. Called early. He's probably seen a mugger, hasn't he? Ah, I bet he has, eh? 
more fiddle than our crow. Now one's just spooked out at swim there. So I'm just gonna feed again. How many feed? Four or five pellets? Four or five, mate. Not too many. Now, just to bring them back. Little dink, it were positive. Whether it's in mouth or not, it seemed to be a sharp dink. What the last thing you got on there? It's the uh, Preston Jewel Core uh, 13. Lovely elastic, mate. Nice and soft. It's not expensive either, is it? No, mate. It's fantastic value. You see how he's just gone straight out of my peg? Yeah. And, um, That's what you want to happen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've just refed there now. So he's gone straight out of my peg. We're only fishing, I'm only fishing like, I'm only fishing on 14. Yeah. To an 18 hook. Um, if your gear's balanced, you land every fish. Yeah. I'm not one of these for like, oh, well, it's ever so shallow. So you need to be fishing like L20 and don't get me wrong, there's a time and a place for that. But I think with all this open water, they can just swim out of your peg. And you ain't got to pull their heads off. Do you have pullers fitted, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I've got pullers in me. Is it God, mate? I knew it were a nice bite. Nice and positive. Is she a big girl? Uh, don't talk about our last mate. She's a lovely girl. <laughs> <laughs> They're all lovely, aren't they? Oh, wow. Fishing here are pristine, mate. So I've got job at Clicker. What are you going to, uh, what are you getting yourself for that? Let me get in there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say £4 on that, Greg. Four. Yeah. Nice oh, clean yeah. bite. But it's, it's early days, we've just got to suss out how they want it. I don't think they're going to want a lot of feed. A fish has just come in then to them four pellets and, and spooked away. Yeah, going back to Cadpot, in uh, winter. That were a nice bite, weren't it? Yeah, lovely. It might be smooth, it? that, brother, that. Were it? Oh, I appreciate that, Greg, thanks. <laughs> hey, oh, this might be a big girl. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a difference. I mean, we had that liner, and which it did look like a proper bite, but there is still that split difference between that were a proper under, wasn't it? No mistaking, it were a proper bite. And there's no need to lift their heads off, which strike. You're fishing a bear up at the end of the day with yeah. a banded pellet. Just a little lift and they're on. Wrapped over. Wrapped over on to pectoral fit. We'll go four pound again, Greg. Nicely spawned out mirror. Linear mirror. 
I tell you what, mate, them fish are a bit wild. Are they? Yeah. Yeah, when I, when I mixed my uh, bait up this morning, the water temperature, Jesus Christ, I won't like to... I won't like to... Uh... Out of the bathtub? Yeah. Yep. No indications. You know when we find that with that short line. Catch a few early fish. But we'll still keep feeding it. Let's have a little shallow. Oh, he's on. See, I just kept tight to hook. Yeah. You want to know there were a fish there, would you? No. This is that 15 Preston, mate. You like that oh, stuff? Oh, mate. Game changer. I think it's seven ninety nine, pal, and it's it's just straight soft. But you see how I'm just pointing pole at fish. It just like stops them running. You haven't got to lock it off. You know what I mean? I'm surprised there ain't companies out there give you stuff for free. You what, pal? I'm surprised there ain't companies out there that give well, you stuff. Well, do you know what? It, it amazes me. Absolutely amazes me. I'm lost on rail. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got a bloody clue. Just wing it. <laughs> You're supervising now, aren't you? Yeah, well, I don't want to say supervisor, but... Uh, Ed Codd? It's, yeah, it's... Uh, a lot of uh, responsibility, mate. I'm sure you take it in your stride. Oh, ah, uh, it's uh, pays well, like, yeah, yeah. but you've got a lot. A lot can go wrong. Mm. I put detonator protection out, so whoever trusts me with explosives must be. Hey, <laughs> imagine science teaching our Greg. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Yeah, and here's some uh, explosives, go and put them on track. See if lads are getting run over while they're working. <laughs> Wouldn't thought it, would you? No. Yeah, see how it just powers up, mate? Yeah. It's ridiculous. I thought, oh, it'd be another one of them gimmicks. You know, because like companies do like yeah. to get the money out of a couple of products. I thought, no, I'll try it. I mean, because I've always been a lover of that um, original, you know, the 11H, yeah. uh, 13H and 14, uh, 15H. Always do that. I've still got them in my kits now, mate. But this stuff, it's just brilliant. You never bump fish. No. And it's only your fault if you do pull out of a fish because you're pulling too hard. 
They don't stop me. You'll keep your nose out. Have you had any 20 pound? Not surprised off that pig. Them's them, Bobby. <laughs> oh, them's them, Bobby. <coughs> oh, it's your cup method. Have you chucked tight at feet here or just in the middle? No, away from it, mate. There's a gravel bar, like, in line with that last keep net. A nice hard bottom, mate. If you chucked it for features, they just put you in it. And if you notice, I've got my rod that way, so when I do walk them, they'll cart that way, away from the feature. Yeah. Put that straight down a fisher's bike. Mad in it. Uh. Uh. So you still have plenty of tip showing even up paste? Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you ever feed emp with the paste? Not here, mate. Too silty. Yeah. Some venues, you know, when you go on hard bottom. Yeah, you put emp in here, it just goes like a chuffing washing machine. Oh, bleeding rubber heart. Grab up, baby. Grab up. Hmm. What are you thinking, Pop? They don't want paste. They're coming in for the feed, but they're not chuffing. Eating. I'm thinking now, what's that? Back shots drop down, mate. I thought to go fish going divvy on me uh, float. And back shot slid down. Don't worry, it's not my first rodeo. I've been before. Thank God for that. <laughs> I thought, chuffing I'm getting some liners there. Back shot slid on top of float. <laughs> oh dear. Time is it now, Paul? Time is ten to three. Oh, gives an odd when it's three o'clock. Radio. We'll get a bit of pudding down that edge. What are you putting down? I'm going to feed uh, swelled up markers, coppings, you know, so they get take loads of water on. Yeah. So they go right heavy. Uh, I'm going to introduce a bit of dead maggot, but I don't want. That were another perch, that mate. <laughs> another perch grab pellet. Uh, I don't want to introduce too much.
bit crackers, that one. Four pound, Greg. How much? Four pound, you'll... Fifty, bang on. So... There's a machine on there, isn't it? Are you happy how it's panning out? No, this is foul. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're getting no. bites, though, aren't you? Yeah, we're getting. Right, and it's nearly quarter past three, halfway through match. Yeah. You have fifty-four pounds on your clicker. Yeah. You just looked into another one. Are you happy where you are right now, or? Mate, we're fishing. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. In the match sense. Yeah, it could have, it could have gone better, mate. It could, we could always do better, can't we? Yeah. But. Weak climate, and how hot it's been. And let's face it, nobody's bagging, are they? Not from what I've seen. So there's some think, good anglers uh, around, isn't there? I think our uh, 58 pound with that one. I think that's doing well down here from what I've seen. Uh, so yeah, we've just got to hope for a good last couple of hours. And uh, hopefully think, it'll, it'll be job are hoping, done. Are you hoping the margins do the business or...? Yeah. Yeah, I fed it about five minutes ago. Oh, I've just put that one in the other net. <laughs> That's 58 now in that net. <laughs> That's we're talking. I can't talk and walk. <laughs> so hopefully now. And that fish should go another hook in it. So we've done him a favour. Um, yeah. Yeah, we've fed it. So but, what will you do, wait for swirls? Yeah, in fact, I've just seen a swirl now. But I'm not, I'm not going to, I've never come off a feeding fish. No, no. I'm not going to entertain it, even though I've seen a swirl. I'm going to try and keep this ticking over on the short line. I mean, we've had to mess about for the first hour and a half, two hours. Trying, really trying to find out how they wanted it. Uh, we had a couple of fish short to start with, didn't we? Uh, really positive bites, and it's like, oh, it's going to be a pellet day short. Then it dried up. Then no signs at all. So then uh, we went and slapped, because there were some cruisers. Uh, had one fish after five minutes, good eight pounder, and then not another indication. Chucked a method, which looks perfect, which is a really good chuck here. Uh, always. Do you get... say there's a gravel bar? Somewhere? There's a gravel bar, mate. Yeah, yeah. Just to the right of the, that lily bed. Uh, it goes in with a clonk, you know what I mean. So they can see your bait all day long. Uh, but that never budged apart from liners. And you so... could see the fish swimming out at middle. Yeah, they? yeah, they were there, but they just weren't going down and eating. Then we've come back on the short line, and I thought paste had sorted it properly, uh, but they were coming to feed, but not not taking up bait. Uh, you can't really. I've up my feed a tiny bit, but you can't up it to a degree where you get too many in your peg, and then you just end up foul looking them. Yeah. Uh, which is the worst thing you can do. So it's just a bit of case like last hour and a half. They're just plodding away, waiting for a proper clean bite. Four and five pellets. Work your rig. Are you still capable of the 150, or do you think that's come and gone? Oh, no, mate, no. No, it's always there, pal. I mean, stamp at fish down edge. You only need a good hour, and you can catch £100. 
Uh, a lot of them average six to eight. Well, they used to. I haven't been for ages. Uh, six to eight pound. So. It's all to play for. Yeah, mate. Yeah, never out on it. This has gone a bit funny. Mm. Spot. What elastic's that? $15, mate. They're like 15 each. Yeah. Just seems to gaff them a bit, doesn't it? I know Dino likes 17 each, that yellow. It's <laughs> a bit much for me, that. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost in it, that one, mate. She's a ghost, metallic. Go on, Bobby.
brought camera back round here because I think it spooked a few, didn't it, when I set it up? It, it, I don't know, mate. It could have. They've been a bit skittish, pal. You know, it being so shallow. Yeah. Uh, first couple of feeds, perfect. Lovely clean bites. Uh, I took four fish in four drops. Uh, with no, you know, swirls or... But then they started coming in and touching line and spooking off. So I don't know whether it's... Uh, there's too much feed there at the minute. I've noticed you've switched from corn to maggots now. This is my first dip with maggot, mate, because my last fish were only just hooked. So, because this carp there now, I've put a bit more depth on and I'm uh, ligging on with a bunch of maggots now. Yeah. So I've got more bristles showing. And hopefully when we do get a bite, it should be... Uh, see, that were a line. When we do get a bite, it should just, like, be on. Yeah. It's not long before they wise up, is it? No. You've got to... Uh, listen. You've got to keep changing, haven't you? Yeah. Can you imagine if you only come with, like, one upbeat for barging? It's... Uh, I mean, this doesn't even know it's up. What it does now, it's in me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, when I up that, I thought, oh, is it a perch? <laughs> but it just shows you that you haven't got to, like, strike like Zorro to set your hook. These hooks are that sharp now, they're on. All you've got to lift is an inch and they're on. Sorry, am I boring you? No. <laughs> You're not talking to your last night, you know. <laughs> if you were boring me, I'd tell you. <laughs> Just say, oh, he's all about fishing again. <laughs> I can certainly say your catch rate's improved since you've been going down that edge. Yeah. Well, we've had 30 odd pound off it, haven't we, already? Yeah. And I only had 58 in my other net. And that was three hours graft. They'll do, Bobby. Wait there. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. He's getting giddy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, what a stunner. <sighs> You ought to do it. Lovely clean bite, that. I was just panicking, thinking, do I need to put another big pot in? You just haven't got to panic, Greg, have you? Play it cool, brother. Play it cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Four pound, mate. Wanna come off it? Yes. You yeah. made the siege? Yeah. Wanna come off it? Let it rest. It needs to calm down, mate. It's two. It's two crackers. Think I'll put a bit too much bait in. Where are we going now? Up short line again. Yeah, stretch out in front. Four pound, mate. What are you lined up with there? That pallet. Up far bank. I've got all that. It, when it plums up like we're in a, a square. Right. Uh, probably three foot square. All plums up same. But that's my marker on far bank. It's just for when I draw this peg next. Yeah, yeah. Had to do everything. <laughs> You're filming, I'm filming you, bro. You what, mate? I'm filming you. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got no duck noises or something? Well, that's what I brought you. <laughs> quackers, mate, quackers. <laughs> I wish you'd give me an order so we were filming. We've been filming five out of six hours, like <laughs> What do we have to do? You know, I've got a potty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming, mate, I'm filming. <laughs> My mum hates me swearing and all. Pardon? My mum hates me swearing. Does she? Yeah, yeah. She should kick me head in. If I was swearing live on Sky Sports, we all she'd kick my head in. What? Nobody wants to see that.
Absolutely lovely. Clean bike, clean language. <laughs> it's the future. I'm never going to swear again. Your mum would be so proud. Oh, mate. I'm not getting battered tonight off her, am I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? That could not have been a better bike. <laughs> you don't like it up, huh? <laughs> Thought that were a big skimmer, then. You are. Sort of be looking the good look there. <laughs> what are you taking for that? Uh, three pound, mate. Oh, you trashed my rig. Look at that. Hopefully, we'll sneak one here. Can't believe that's trashed my rig. So, Margin Fish has just trashed your rig, so you're going to try one short again? Yeah. Yeah, we've only got a few minutes left, mate. Going under 100 mile an hour. Stay on, baby. Is this too good? Fish on! Fish on! That will have to time it. What did he say? A nice timing, Greg, wasn't it? Perfect. Do you know that's first compliment you've given me all day? A bit lasted. They did with these comments. Yes, bro. Well done. Four pound, brother. Right, Mr. Lakey. The end of the match. Yeah. And you've got one, three, four on the clicker. One, three, four. So we'll uh, I'll let you get packed up. Cheers, mate. And we'll uh, watch way in and we'll have a, have a chat after, OK? Lovely, Paul. All right, mate. Thank you.
had them with it before. Put them on the knot. Or we didn't lay it. Andy, what are you waiting? Uh, what did I have, Mark? 138.6, mate. That's more than what we thought. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Right. So we'll uh, we'll get packed up. We'll have a chat. Nice one, mate. Right, weighing's happened, and you said you had 134 on clicker. Yeah, mate. Yeah. We've ended up with 138 something. I know. On, uh, on Supposed to be under the clicker, aren't we? Well, not this is it. This is what you find. I know. So, you've ended up winning your section, 30 yeah, quid. Yeah, we've, we've got a section, haven't That's we? That's it, brown envelope. So, yeah. very well done. Face what they are. Um, who, what's won the match? 200 and... Paul and wins had 204 pound, I believe, off of peg... Uh, 42? 45. 45. Yeah. And then who was second? Uh, I think it was Cotney, wasn't it? Yes. 158 off yeah. a 19 peg. So then it's paid, the, the, have they paid I first and second? I think they've just second, paid the top two and, and three two, sections. Three sections. Yeah. And you've picked up your life. You've, put, put, <laughs> <laughs> you've won your section. Yeah, we've won a section without a default, which I'm happy about. Yeah. Because that always means that like, you've best weight. In your area, yes, that's I it. don't mind the default, don't get me wrong, it pays you a couple of quid, mm. but I always like to win a section to win the section, yeah, of course, you do, of course, you do. Let's yeah. pay for day, like you say, yeah, yeah, right then. Way. So, um, see you, mate. Have you fished it today, then? Right, well, we started short at uh, top kit and two, off uh, to the left hand side, yeah, always fish away out at peg. So when I'm fishing my method, I'm not dragging fish straight through the heads. But uh, you tried the method and no, just line as that. First time I've drawn that peg ever, mate, and I've not had like ten or twelve fish on that feeder, yeah. which has been weird. You've been but flirting they've... six miles over as well. Yeah, yeah, they've just not nothing. wanted to go down, have they? Then you went shallow. Yeah, we had to go shallow. Yeah, uh, never fed anything shallow. Just no, just turned over. my rig over because I didn't want to feed somewhere else in my peg and start dividing fish. But if it had gone shallow to slap, and if it had caught three or four fish on it, then I'd have picked my cast port up and started working my peg. Still six mils, though? Yeah, definitely six mils, yeah. mate. Would yeah. you have used fours? For F1s, yeah. Mm. I don't. I, I just think they spread out too much for these big cars, yeah. and they don't, they don't make great noise. No, not a loud enough yeah, noise yet. Yeah, you don't want to plop. And then you went in down your right-hand margin. Didn't bother with the left one because no. you said it was too far away from the bank. Yeah, all reeds had grown out. You couldn't yeah. see it down side at, to, to get close enough in. Plus, on that platform anyway, at uh, 25 platform, it's all rocky, so you can't get a clean bottom, so you're not never ever going to get clean bites. Brilliant. And then, so you went to the right-hand margin yeah. and did, like, a, swelled micros with corn. Yeah, and Sketch, then, uh, coppings, coppings, swelled them right up, gave them loads of water. Then I noticed you'd put a few red, red, dead reds, yeah. A few dead reds in the uh, in the bowl, yeah. 
and then if you fish corn on the hook. Always start on corn, uh, because there is a few nuisance fish in that lake, like little perch. Yeah, that you wear a couple. Roach. Um, and I think once the carp arrive, then you can swap to your dead reds. But while you're waiting for them to arrive, you can nick a couple of fish. Yeah. Um, and you know it when it goes under, it's a carp. Rather than ship it in and out, perch, 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 and then all of a sudden you can start catching carp. One thing I did notice is you said you like clean bites. Yeah. You had a couple yeah. of clean bites and they were foul hooked or they didn't seem to set the up yeah, properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything you can explain with that? Or? No, mate. It's been I a just, funny day, though. Yeah, I just think they're not really in eating mode. I don't think we've fed enough for it to go crackers like mm. it did. Uh, but even on the short line, we were feeding four pellets and they were literally coming in, touching your line and going off at yeah. 100 mile an hour. It's mm. just time of year. We haven't had much cover with like cheaper ripple or. No. Um, I think that has a lot to do with it. If you've got a bit of cover in peg, you seem to be able to nick a few more. Like. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but, so, yeah. are you happy with your performance? Yeah, I'd have took that this morning. And, uh, don't get me wrong, we always come to win. We want to win match. Um, and it is a it is a match winning peg. Peg 24 on Homedale Lake won me loads of money. Uh, but sometimes you just have to. Get halfway through your match and think, well, best I can do yeah. is, and I got 150 target this with the said this morning. Yeah. Uh, Paul's mm. done really well with catching 200 pound, mm. uh, which I don't think we could have caught if it had no. gone all to plan. 158, could you have done that? Yeah, 100 percent. Yeah. Uh, come away from it, went short again, and it's just, it's just not. Um, yeah, it's just I'm not. Them first eight, first eight fish were lovely. I knew when it went, it ripped my half and it were net fishing. After that, I've just not been smart enough to sort it out. Right. I even went back short, left it, you know, let it settle down. I just went back in with a little cad pot just to, you know, catch one fish clean. Yeah. And I caught one clean, but it never it never happened again. No, so, never developed. No, so you've got to you've got to get them there, haven't you? Definitely. So So I was just going to ask you, is anything else you'd have different? But you've just covered that, which yeah. I rectify. Yeah, haven't? you always can do better. Oh, you? So you've you've won your section. Yeah, happy days. Happy days. We've caught 138 pound yeah. of fish. If you would have said to me like yesterday, we'll like, eat and eat what we've had all week, oh. Andy, you're going to catch 138 pound. What do you think? I'll, I'll call you a liar. Yeah. Because I mean, we don't want to eat when it's like no. that, do we? Well, I do. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Only chocolate and ice cream. <laughs> I'm going to say salad, but. I'm <laughs> right then, Paul. Thank you very much well, for mate, your time. Loved Brilliant. It, loved it. Really enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Nice Take one. Care.